the Migod worship, an essential subject from Vinaypedia acceptance of cheap gods or incarnations of God is atheism. Those who worship demigods or self-proclaimed incarnations of God are all atheists. They have lost their knowledge, as confirmed in the Bhagavad GT 7.20. Kames taste her h tajay and prapadyanti nyadivit. Those whose minds are distorted by material desire surrender unto demigods. Unfortunately, those who do not cultivate kaya consciousness and do not properly understand the Vedic knowledge accept anyone to be an incarnation of God, and they are of the opinion that one can become an incarnation simply by worshipping a demigod. Demigod worship is meant for materialistic men whether in goodness, passion, or ignorance. Those in the transcendental position above the qualities of the material world worship Vishnu. By worshipping the demigods one may elevate himself to the higher planets, but during the dissolution of the material world, the deity and the abode of the deity will be destroyed. Therefore the ultimate goal is to surrender ourselves to the worship of Lord K or Vishnu. Srila Prabhupada's books, lectures, conversations and letters offer a comprehensive presentation of this essential subject as seen in the Vinikot's demigod worship category. An introduction from his books is given below in the following ten quotes. Quotes from Srila Prabhupada's books A pure devotee must not cherish any desire other than to serve K.A. He should not offer worship to the demigods or to mundane personalities. He should not cultivate artificial knowledge, which is devoid of K.A. consciousness, and he should not engage himself in anything other than K.A. conscious activities. One must engage all one's purified senses in the service of the Lord. This is the favorable execution of K.A. conscious activities. Kaitanya Karatam Ta, Madhya LL 19.168 The Lord sits on the lotus heart of the devotee in the eternal form the pure devotee desires, and thus the Lord does not part from the devotee, as confirmed in the previous verse. The Lord, however, does not disclose himself to a casual or unauthentic worshipper to be exploited. This is confirmed in Bhagavad GT 7.25. And Ha Praka Sarvasya Yoga My Sam Vita. Rather, by Yoga M.Y., the Lord remains concealed to the non-devotees or casual devotees who are serving their sense gratification. The Lord is never visible to the pseudo-devotees who worship the demigods in charge of universal affairs. R. Mad B.H. Gavadam 3.9. 11. A living entity goes to the demigods usually because he is mad to fulfill his lust. This happens when something undue is desired by the living entity and the Lord himself does not fulfill the desire. In the Kaitanya Karatam Ta it is said that one who worships the Supreme Lord and at the same time desires material enjoyment is contradictory in his desires. Devotional service to the Supreme Lord and the worship of a demigod cannot be on the same platform, because worship of a demigod is material and devotional service to the Supreme Lord is completely spiritual. Bhagavad GT 7.22 A devotee of Lord K does not disrespect Lord Eva, but worships Lord Eva as the most exalted devotee of Lord K. Consequently whenever a devotee worships Lord Eva, he prays to Lord Eva to achieve the favor of K. and he does not request material profit. In Bhagavad GT 7.20 it is said that generally people worship demigods for some material profit. K. Mays taste her h ta j n. Driven by material lust, they worship demigods, but a devotee never does so, for he is never driven by material lust. That is the difference between a devotee's respect for Lord Eva and an Asura's respect for him. Our Mad B.H. Gavadam 4.24. 30. Men of small intelligence worship the demigods, and their fruits are limited and temporary. Even if by fruit of activity or worship of the demigods one is elevated to the higher planetary systems for sense enjoyment, his situation is condemned in Bhagavad GT as Antavat, perishable. The happiness one enjoys in this way is like the pleasure of embracing a young woman in a dream. For some time it may be pleasing, but actually the basic principle is false. The mental concoctions of happiness and distress in this material world are compared to dreams because of their falseness. R. Mad B. H. Gavadam 7.2. 48. Foolish M. Y. V. D. S. say that worshipping demigods is as good as worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but that is not a fact. This philosophy misleads people to atheism. One who has no idea what God actually is thinks that any form he imagines or any rascal he accepts can be God. This acceptance of cheap gods or incarnations of God is actually atheism. It is to be concluded, therefore, that those who worship demigods or self-proclaimed incarnations of God are all atheists. Kaitanya Karatam Ta, DLL 10.11 To accept more material enjoyment means to bind oneself more and more to the miseries of material existence. 
more wealth, more women and false aristocracy are some of the demands of the materially disposed man because he has no information of the benefit derived from BU worship. By BU worship one can derive benefit in this life as well as in life after death. Forgetting these principles, foolish people who are after more wealth, more wives and more children worship various demigods. The aim of life is to end the miseries of life and not to increase them. Our Mad BH Gavadam 1.2.27 If those who are attached to demigod worship fortunately associate with the devotees, their dormant devotional service and appreciation of the Lord's qualities gradually awaken. In this way they also engage in chaos devotional service and give up the desire for liberation and the desire to merge into the existence of impersonal Brahman. Kaitanya Karatam Ta, Madhya LL 24.124 In the conditional state, people are attracted to worshipping demigods, ghosts, or yakas like Kubera. The mode of goodness is better than the modes of passion and ignorance, but one who takes directly to Kaya consciousness is transcendental to all three modes of material nature. Although there is a process of gradual elevation, if one, by the association of pure devotees, takes directly to Kaya consciousness, that is the best way. Bhagavad GT 17.28 It is easy to get material opulence by worshipping the demigods, but the result is sometimes disastrous. As such, the benedictions derived from demigods are appreciated only by the less intelligent class of men. Persons who derive benedictions from the demigods gradually become puffed up with material opulence and neglectful of their benefactors. K. Book, Chapter 88